The overall goal of using this equipment is to grow stem cells in defined atmospheric conditions with maximum sterility. What we're going to demonstrate today is the use of an enclosed cell culture facility that allows for exquisite control over cell culture parameters. In our laboratory, we're using this facility for the culture of multipotent stem cells and pluripotent stem cells. The main advantage of this method is that the cells are exposed to a constant environment no matter where they are as you process them. Whether it be manipulating the cells or in the incubator or on the microscope, their exposure to oxygen, CO2, and temperature is constant throughout the cycle. Demonstrating the procedure will be Alexander Stover, a staff scientist in my laboratory. To begin this procedure, click on a module to adjust the gas concentration. In the new window displaying the current settings, click on the existing oxygen setpoint value below setpoint and enter the required oxygen concentration for this module. Next, click on the green check mark to confirm the setpoint. Repeat this step for carbon dioxide and enter a setpoint of 5% carbon dioxide for all modules except for the buffer chambers, which are only adjustable for oxygen. Then, monitor the current gas concentrations, which are labeled as process values, to make sure that they reach the new set points. Afterward, adjust the gas set points of all modules to the appropriate values. Match the carbon dioxide and oxygen levels of the chambers that will be exposed to one another. For example, adjust the process chamber to 5% oxygen before opening an incubator that grows cells at 5% oxygen. Also adjust the buffer chamber that is used to add items to the process chamber.